The Philippines is a biocultural jewel, home to indigenous communities whose cultures are linked to biodiversity and the watersheds. Tremendous efforts have been made to sustain this intricate interdependence. But sound management actions must accelerate faster than the rate of biocultural erosion. In response, the Foundation for the Philippine Environment implemented the Mainstreaming Indigenous Peoples' Participation in Environmental Governance, or MIPEG project, in partnership with PAFID, with support from European Union through Fundeso. Five tribes in four project sites were able to reinforce their rights in ecological governance. These are indigenous peoples whose ancestral domains are among the richest in biodiversity. cultures and traditions are kept alive and nurtured by the watersheds. In turn, the tribes protect the watersheds that sustain them through generations. These watersheds are sources of potable water. They irrigate the farmlands in the Cordilleras, and the Compostela Valley. They generate electric power in Romblon and Bukidnon. In the four years of the MIPEG project, significant gains were achieved. The ADS DPP, or Ancestral Domain Sustainable Development and Protection Plan of each tribe, was developed. Local and national offices of NCIP are now addressing the issuance of their respective certificate of ancestral domain titles. Indigenous communities now have a mandatory representative and local government. Their respective domains were protected from large extractive development intervention. Planting of native tree species in more than 2,400 hectares and government deputizing forest guards. Now, each has a written and video documentation of their indigenous knowledge systems and practices and financial management systems. And, sustainable livelihood opportunities were established. However, as the MIPEG project draws to a close, looming threats still need to be addressed. Various initiatives need to be sustained to continue the quest for inclusionary policies or regulations, specifically Energy Regulation 1-94 and Universal Charge, Environmental Charge, under the Electric Power Industry Reform Act or EPIRA that will benefit the entire indigenous communities in the country hosting energy resources. To sustain negotiation, for appropriate royalty payment and payment for environmental services. To complete registration of their indigenous community conserved areas, 
and the World Registry of ICCA, affording protection to IP culture and biodiversity. In all these, the indigenous peoples themselves must continue to have a strong voice in local governance. Yung batay doon sa sinasabi ko kanina ng mga karapatan ng katutubo, batay doon sa HDPP, yun yung bit-bit mo dito sa, sa Sangguniang Bayan. While maintaining their traditional governance system intact. By finding resourceful ways out of poverty. by pursuing their ancestral domain sustainable development and protection plan, by organizing themselves into federations of indigenous peoples organizations, by defending their watersheds, sacred sites, and domains against destruction. As the indigenous peoples remain steadfast in their commitment, the question remains, how committed is the rest of the world in sustaining this balance of nature and culture? My peace be sako nga toli hao Humulon sa sanga ng argao No roads or bridges can ever be built to reach the innermost parts of these areas. And perhaps it is for the best. But we can build bridges of hope. A goal that the MIPEG project has been contributing to four years since its entry into the lives of these tribal communities. Today, we challenge each and every one of you to cross that bridge and express your commitment of support. Join us in the fulfillment of the hopes and dreams of our indigenous peoples. Sanbatawa na it makarik